Given a pair of numbers, there are two ways that we can describe the relationship between them. We can describe an additive relationship between two numbers, or we could describe a multiplicative relationship between two numbers. If we want to describe an additive relationship, we look at the difference. The difference between A and B is just A minus B in that order. So what does that mean? It means that the number A is what we get if we take B plus the difference. That is, the difference answers the question, what do I need to add to B in order to get A? Similarly, when we're describing a multiplicative relationship, we look at the ratio of two numbers. Similarly, in a multiplicative relationship, we look at the ratio of the two numbers. The ratio of two numbers, we would say the ratio of A to B, well, that's just the number A over B, again in that order. Why does that describe a multiplicative relationship? Well, in this case, A is equal to B times the ratio. So the ratio answers the question, what do I need to multiply B by in order to get A? The difference answers the question, what do I need to add? The ratio answers the question, what do I need to multiply by? Let's see how we use this language. So suppose that a certain store employs nine women and six men. If we wanted to talk about the relationship between the number of women and the number of men additively, we would say that the difference between the number of women and the number of men is 9 minus 6 equals 3. What we would say, just describing this in English, there are three more women than men. If we wanted to describe this the other way around, we would say the difference between the number of men and the number of women is 6 minus 9 equals negative 3. What would we say in English? There are three fewer men than women. Right? Notice the negative difference. We said there were fewer because there are fewer. How would we describe this multiplicatively? We would say that the ratio of the number of women to the number of men is the number of women over the number of men. Simplifying that fraction, this is 3 halves, or if we like mixed numbers, we can say 1 and a half. All right, how would we describe that in English? We might actually use the word ratio to describe it. The ratio of women to men is 3 to 2. That means for every two men, there are three women. Or we might say there are one and a half times as many women as men. All right. What if we did this the other way around? Well, we could say the ratio of men to women. That's going to be six men to nine women. Simplifying that, we get two-thirds. So we could say, using the word ratio, that the ratio of men to women is 2 to 3. Or we could just say there are two-thirds as many men as women. When we're talking about a fraction, we don't typically say times. We just say two-thirds as many. When we're talking about a whole number or mixed number, we say times, one and a half times. So those two ways of describing relationships, 
additive and the multiplicative are both going to turn out to be very useful to us as we go forward. We're going to spend a little while now focusing on these multiplicative relationships and talking about how we handle these ratios.